DHCP snooping is a layer two security feature that helps you implement better security in an ethernet switched environment. It's once again a layer two feature and not a layer three or router feature that validates DHCP messages. It allows you to create what are called trusted and untrusted ports and allows you to prevent rogue DHCP servers sending DHCP offers to clients. It essentially looks for DHCP messages and ignores non-DHCP messages, but validates and ensures that DHCP offer messages are only received on trusted ports. If a rogue DHCP server was configured on an untrusted port, the offer from that DHCP server would not be forwarded to client PCs requesting IP addresses. This helps you prevent various security hacks, including man in the middle attacks, such as I'm going to demonstrate in a moment, where traffic from this PC going to the internet or router five is intercepted by our hacking PC, which allows the hacker to view all the traffic sent from the PC to its default gateway. DHCP snooping configures all ports as untrusted ports by default. You have to explicitly configure which ports are trusted. In other words, if you have a trusted DHCP server on gigabit 00, you need to configure that port as a trusted port so that DHCP snooping allows offers from that server. When you enable DHCP snooping, the switch builds a DHCP snooping bindings database, which includes the MAC address of the host, the lease IP address, the lease time, binding type, VLAN number, and interface information associated with the host. Other security features such as dynamic ARP inspection can leverage this database to protect against ARP poisoning in an ethernet environment. So DHCP snooping is one of the most fundamental security mechanisms to implement which builds a database that can be leveraged by other security features. Dynamic ARP inspection, once again, intercepts all ARP requests and all replies on untrusted ports and verifies those against a valid IP to MAC address binding, which is based on the database created by DHCP snooping. This, once again, allows you to stop ARP poisoning attacks. Before talking about DHCP snooping, you need to understand how DHCP works, which I'll cover in the next video. And then I'll show you how I set up a Cisco router in GNS3 to implement a man in the middle attack using a DHCP server. And after that, I'll show you how to mitigate against man in the middle attacks by configuring DHCP snooping on a switch.